Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 86 in the Sudoku problem series. Um, this is a Greek carpet problem submitted by Virtual, and the goal of this one is to um, solve, uh, place all of the digits into box one and row one, which are the highlighted boxes. Greek carpet isn't a role that you, uh, isn't a rule set that you see very often, so um, this one might be new to some people, but this is an easy problem, so hopefully it's a good introduction. So um, the way Greek carpet works is the line in box one is a rolled up carpet. And when you unroll the carpet, it will contain the same digits in the same order as when it's rolled up. So um, hopefully that makes some sense. There's a link below to where you can grab a copy of this grid to give it a shot. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video and then I'll be back to um, explain how this one works. Okay, the reason I paused is I was told this one was really easy, so I didn't actually prepare for this, which I normally do for these. Um, so yeah, so what this means is this line in box one, um, when you unroll it, and I'm gonna use the pen tool, if I was to unroll this carpet, let's do it in orange, the line in box one is going to be, if I was to curl it around, would be exactly the same digits. Now, because it's, uh, sorry, row one would be exactly the same, well, the line in box one would be exactly the same as row one. So what I can do is I know, for example, that three, five, uh, three gap, five, gap, nine. So three gap, five, gap, this is a nine. And then there's a gap and then seven. So gap and then seven. So that works. Now, what I can then do is look at the digits that I still need to place. Now, two and six need to go into here somewhere. I'm not going to look at that, but what I am going to look at is I can't put one in any of those cells because of Sudoku. So the one is in one of those two cells, which is either that cell or the second last cell, but I can't put the one in that cell. So this becomes the one, which means this is the second last cell on the carpet when I unroll it. So this becomes the one. Now I can look at the two and six because because I can't put two and six in those cells. So this becomes a two, six pair. Um, and the digits that I haven't placed, I've got one, two, three, I haven't placed four, um, five, six, seven, I haven't placed eight. So this becomes four and eight. So this becomes the eight, this becomes the four. And um, now I've got three, two, six, um, and uh, this two, six here becomes a two, six here. These become the four and the eight. And uh, this six here resolves the two and the six. And when this two makes this the two and the four, eight are resolved by, oh, of course, this is the four, which is the fourth digit on the carpet. So this becomes the four and this becomes the eight. And that is the solution to the Greek carpet because it had to be in the same order. As soon as I resolved the four, eight here, I could have resolved the four, eight here. And this six resolves the two, six, which resolves the two at the end. Um, it's it's a very, very weird rule set, um, and you don't see it very often, um, but uh, it is one that when it's included, I think is really cool, because it is, it is not that complicated, it's just a little bit different, and I always like stuff like that. So hopefully you were able to wrap your head around that one. Um, thank you, Virtual, for submitting it. Um, I might play with it myself, and um, yeah, hope you're enjoying the series, and as always, good luck with your solving.